Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about the spirit of prophecy. The doctrine in regards to the spirit of prophecy has to do with a specific Bible passages that are looked at by Seventh-day Adventists as guiding us towards a particular set of beliefs in regards to the manifestations of the gift of prophecy. The gift of prophecy come in many shapes and forms. In the Bible, there are several lists of the gifts of the prophets. We are concentrating specifically on one gift, the gift of prophecy. Some believe that prophets were those who foresaw the future, but that was a very small segment, a very small portion of the work of the prophets. Most of the work of the prophet was for the purpose of guiding. Some have said that prophets were sent by God to rebuke those that were comfortable and to comfort those that were oppressed. The prophets in the Bible had a lot of work and a lot of words about the way of living, rebuking the means and ways of oppression, economic and social oppression of the day. But the prophets also foresaw things of the future. There's a segment of the writings of the prophets that have to do with seeing the future. Now we're going to look at the passages that are specific to how we Seventh-day Adventists believe the spirit of prophecy. Joel chapter 2 verses 28 and 29 are crucial. And afterwards I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Prophet Joel is presenting quasi-chaotic manifestation of the spirit of God. Why is quasi-chaotic? Because in a monarchy, you have the order coming from on high in a lineal fashion. The king... The priest, the prophets, the servant and merchants, and then the common people, the workers, the peons. But here, the Spirit of God is being manifested not on those on the top of the pyramid, but on everyone. Not only that, gender differences were broken. Class differences were broken. This is chaotic. The Spirit of God coming upon everyone, woman, men, children, servants, everybody becoming a prophet. This chaotic manifestation is used by God at the end of days. Seventh-day Adventists believe that we are already in the beginning of the end of time. We are close to the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we have expected the Spirit of God to manifest Himself among us. And we see this manifestation particularly through the ministry of the servant of God, Ellen G. White. Acts chapter 2 verses 14 to 21 render again the words, the words of Joel because it says, then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and addressed the crowd, Fellow Jews and all of you who believe, who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And then he proceeds to quote, the verses we already read. And it goes on forward in the text. It says, I will read again. Even in the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. 
even on my servant, both man and woman, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and billows of smoke, the sun will turn into darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Amen. These words refer to the gift of the Holy Spirit to His church and this manifestation in the form of the spirit of prophecy. Hebrews 1 verses 1 to 3. In the, last, in the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, He had spoken to us by His Son, whom He appointed here, of all things and through whom all be made and to whom also he made the universe. The sun is the radiance of God's glory, and that and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. Now, Seventh-day Adventists see these particular words as describing that not only Joel spoke of the time of the end, and not only Peter and the other apostles spoke about that happening in their time, here it says that in the last days, at the time of the end, we Seventh-day Adventist cities associated with the movement of reformation of the 1840s that began in the United States of America, and from which many denominations came about specifically in the United States, Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah Witness, and Mormons, Latter-day Saints, three American productions of Christianity. Of course, we Seventh-day Adventists are the subject of this class and our beliefs, and we see God opening doors to the time of the end and bringing about prophecy in the middle of the people in order to guide us Revelation 12:17 says, Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to, to wage war against the rest of, his, of her offspring, those who keep God's commandments and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. So here are characteristics of these people of the last days. They keep the commandments of God, the ten of them, and they have the testimony of Jesus. We Seventh-day Adventists believe that these words were the ones spoken by God through the prophets containing the Bible, and we accept all of it, not part of it, but all of it, plus the manifestation of the Holy Spirit in the last days, specifically, we believe, in the person of Ellen G. White through the spirit of prophecy. Revelation 19.10 is the last verse in this section. At this I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, Don't do that! I am a fellow servant with you and with your brothers and sisters who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God! For it is the spirit of prophecy who bears testimony to Jesus. This passage refers again to the time of the end, to a very specific period in human history when we are getting close to the second coming. And in that time, the spirit of prophecy will be manifested and the people of God will have the opportunity to be led. We believe that the spirit of God and the spirit of prophecy is constantly manifesting, but it participated in particular ways through the ministry of Ellen G. White. There are various resources on the class website that I am not requiring you to read, but I am giving you access to them. So if you want to learn more about Ellen G. White and how come we believe that she has the spirit of prophecy, please go forward and read. I believe it is particularly helpful to read 
the, uh, the letter to Dr. Paulson that you wrote, that you have as part of the reading of uh, Selected Messages, Volume 1. Of course, you have done the quiz with the Bible passages. And we will talk more about these Bible passages when we come to study the prophecy associated with the 2,300 days prophecy. Thank you for your careful attention.